politicians, the youth, politicians, the youth, you are the problem in Sondu. Politicians, even before they go to Sondu, they have already formed an opinion. They are saying, if you go on social media, that the president should have made a statement and said that the president serves the people of this country through the ministries. We have a minister for internal security. It is only after that minister has failed that the president would wade into it. Let us ask Kindiki again, over and over again, to come and go on top of things. I refuse. I refuse to accept that a law man, when he sees a Kalenjin man, he sees somebody to kill. No. In 1992, Kennedy Kiliku, he was an honorable member of this house, he led a commission that came up with the Kiliko report on the tribal clashes of 1992. And he found that the clashes were because of land conflict. The clashes were because of cattle rustling. The clashes were because of political differences. And the clashes were because of the fight over the water resource, period. It ended there. And recommendations have been made. Universities have made studies on how to solve it. The shameful bit of it, Mr. Speaker, sir, is the two factors that were not there in 1992 are at play in Sound. The first one, Mr. Speaker, is the so-called boundary conf co conflict. People have started saying that the boundary between Kisumu and Kericho should go this way or that way, and their, their politicians are asking them to defend it. And the result? People are dying, people are fighting, property is being destroyed. The second one, Mr. Speaker, is that there is now a fight over revenue collection. Let us ask ourselves, and my younger brother is there. You know the story of Maseno. My younger brother is there. You know the story of Tarubo. If people are going to be incited to fight over collection of resources, ask yourself who is most likely to benefit if revenue is be collected. The person to benefit is the governor. So the governor of Kericho and the governor of Kisumu, they must stop going to public fora and telling people that the revenue of Sondu should be collected by this side or that side. It in itself is incitement of our people. And any governor who then makes that pronouncement. Uh, what is your point of order, Eddie? Senator Eddie. Mr. Speaker, you know, I take this issue very seriously because it takes, and I'm, I'm, I'm standing under uh, standing order number 105. I take this, order, this, this issue very seriously because any time one life is lost in this country, Mr. Speaker, I feel extremely, extremely perturbed and disturbed. The Senator for Kakamega has just said, evidentially so, that the governor of Kisumu and the governor of Kericho are at the art of inciting this violence by virtue of their pronouncement. Mr. Speaker, that's a statement of fact. And I want to know whether it is in order for this, the Senator for Kamega to indict the two governors. And if indeed this is, this is true, Mr. Speaker, then the governor of Kakamega must produce for the record of this house. Because the people who are dying in that area must produce those statements for the purposes of dealing with this conflict. And he must produce in this house so that we can use it as a statement of fact to all these leaders to account. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I hope you are holding my time. Senator, let me tell you, through the Speaker, this arrogance, 
this entitlement that if a law is dying, then I'm a law senator, I should be seen to be shouting most, doesn't make you a better advocate of the peace and security of that region. Can you shut up? You senator. don't have the floor. Order, order. Mr. Order. Speaker. Order, order, order. order. Mrs. Order. Mr. Speaker. Order. Se senator, senator Bonicalo. Order. What is this? Mr. Speaker. Senator Boni Kalwale, order please. Se Eddie. Senator Eddie. Senator Eddie, order. Can we have some, can we have some order first of all, before we continue? Senator Boni Kalwale. Senator Boni Kalwale. Um, Senator Eddie, please, hold your horses. Uh, Senator Boni Kalwale. Senator Eddy stood on a point of order to ask you to substantiate your statement on whether the two governors have made such pronouncements. Uh, is, that, is it your position that you're able to substantiate or withdraw? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it will pay for senators if they want to challenge others on points of order, to start by paying attention to what that senator has said. I have not, and the answer will, will bear me out, I have not said in any way that Nyong'o is responsible or the senator Mutai of Kiriji is responsible. I say, the, the governor, the governor Mutai is responsible. I said, if, and if, if you didn't go to a good school, be listening to us who went to good schools when we speak in English. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Sp Mr. Speaker, sir, it is important and it is documented by institutions of higher learning that specialize in research that at the heart of these so-called clashes are perpetrators. Those are not my words. And the perpetrators, the research has demonstrated, are us politicians who use our youth. Mr. Speaker, when I say that, I'm not pointing a finger at any specific governor. I am just saying, speaking from this Senate, we are requesting politicians to desist from making inciting statements. And 